Welcome back to yet another episode of An Insta Thoughts Guide to Life. In this episode, I'm going to be talking to you guys all about how to get FaceTime ready and get ready for a little Skype sesh with your boo. So stay tuned to find out ways to appear and seem more confident on FaceTime or on Zoom or whatever you guys are doing and my personal tips on how to get ready. Before we get started, I just want to tell you guys, in case you haven't already, thank you so, so, so much for helping me reach 1K subscribers, 1,000, that's amazing. I appreciate it so much, even Biscuit's excited. <laughs> but um, I want to thank you guys so much. So from now on, I am going to be doing live streams every Friday at 8 o'clock p.m. EST. So if you haven't already, put your post notifications on so you guys know when I'm going to be going live so we can have fun with that um, and get ready for weekly uploads and more. Having the anonymous Tumblr for people to leave questions and submit um, concerns anonymously is now removed. You guys can no longer do that, unfortunately, because of some rotten people that took advantage of that um, anonymity. Anonymity? Anonymity? <laughs> anonymity? <laughs> I was getting really nasty messages and like all kinds of hate and I'm just like you know what I don't need this so if you guys have a question or a concern just DM me on Instagram leave it in my inbox you don't have to feel shy I'm never gonna include names or anything but um that'll be a great way for me to still answer your concerns and your questions and talk about the topics that you guys really want to hear make sure make sure that you also fan your girl on OnlyFans. I'm kind of popping off, top 7.2% and counting. Let's get it. And also Patreon. Um, I also do like monthly photo sets and you know dance videos and some special stuff on there. So you guys can check that out too if you want the uncensored episodes, adult topics, etc. So the tips that I'm about to drop for you guys today are not only going to be helpful for the ladies but also the guys as well so both sexes everybody can learn some stuff from this video so why am i talking about how to get facetime ready well because you guys know that i practically live my whole life online um between starting my own successful live stream when i was only 18 years old and i had no idea what i was doing um, from that to OnlyFans to Instagram, I want to teach you guys some tips basically on confidence and how to present yourself to get what you want and how you could translate that into FaceTime dates or Zoom meetings or interviews and stuff like that. So step one is of course you want to look the part. I mean, if we're just talking about for like a Skype date or a FaceTime date, they can be super awkward and everything, but part of your job and what you have to do is basically treat it like it's not awkward at all, okay? So just act like you're super comfortable, um, be nice, but don't be overly friendly, you know, really treat it like natural and almost like it's not the first time that you FaceTimed or Skyped with them. That is a really important note and a tip that I do to feel more comfortable on camera, you know, whether it be talking to myself or talking with a whole bunch of people commenting on the inbox. You just got to really let go and be comfortable and kind of live in that moment. Don't get too much in your head, etc. You know, um, and also looking the part. Ladies, <laughs> I'm guilty of this too because literally half the time in quarantine, I'm not, you know, getting all dressed up in my little Fashion Nova numbers. I am freaking in pajamas, no makeup, etc. But um, I think I realized, you know, you might think, oh, during quarantine, you know, this is great. I can just be comfortable. I don't need to do makeup. I don't need to get dressed up or anything. But it's actually really good for your psyche and your self-esteem and your confidence if you actually do spend the time to get made up and get dolled up anyways. So, um, you know, you're gonna feel better that way. 
but do you have to do the nails and the boobs and everything for fit? No, you don't have to do everything for FaceTime. Honestly, what I would recommend is just, do you guys see how old this is? I'm a licensed esthetician. I should not be showing like my old ass makeup. But do you guys see, this is my contour palette. You guys can see I like this color a lot, the cool shade. But, um, whoop! I just dropped that on the floor. But it didn't break, you guys. Anastasia <laughs> Beverly Hills for the win. <laughs> um, so, yeah, definitely just do a little bit of contour. A little bit of mascara even, a little bit of blush to show, to show that you have some uh, color in your cheeks. And lip gloss. Lip gloss, lip gloss, lip gloss. A little bit, see? Perfect. <laughs> and do some like self-care stuff for yourself during this quarantine. Like whiten your teeth, you know, take care of your hair. <laughs> I know that you guys see I cut my bangs. I could also wear them like this, like, hey. But um, we're doing a little side, side sweet bang moment today. <laughs> but do something fun, do something different. I feel like life is so short. Um, and you know, we only have our youth for a little bit. Like find out what styles you love and what really works for you. Um, so once this quarantine is over, we're gonna come back with a bang. So for FaceTime, you don't have to like, get that ready, you know, you can look natural, but just look like you took care of yourself a little bit and a little bit presentable. Lighting is, uh, next thing I'm gonna talk about, you guys, on Zoom and everything. You don't have to have the best camera, I understand if you don't, etc. I've been in a couple of Zoom meetings myself since this quarantine, <laughs> and girl, let me tell you, lighting is so, so important, it changes everything. So you have to know your lighting, know your angles, know what works for you. Like three quarter angle, um, full on doesn't always work for me, um, but I, I really like this angle a lot in videos or especially on live stream, like you'll usually see me like this. Um, I don't mind, you know, I used to not like this side of my face, but you know, I don't mind it anymore. But my point is just know your angles, know what works for you. Also guys, I know you're still listening. Don't look like a bottle. Like, like, get ready a little bit. Be very friendly. Be very, like, interested in the girl. But don't, like, give her, like, freaking... <laughs> What's that word? Um, loaded questions. Like, just try to be casual. Make her feel comfortable. Make her laugh or smile. Like, I, I know I said that before in my other video. But, like, girl. Guys, if you make a girl laugh or smile... You're, you're in. Just, like... Definitely do that. Um, and talk, another thing that's really important is this is once you've already gotten past like starting talking and FaceTime dating or whatever, talk about things that you're looking forward to doing with them after the quarantine. Like I made some friends online um, during the quarantine, not like guys or anything, but like on Instagram or whatever. And like I'm already planning out stuff that we're gonna do together. So, you know, having things that you're looking forward to, etc. Another thing that you're gonna wanna really do, posture, sit up straight. Your thumbs should be pointing up, okay? Ladies, gentlemen, for everybody. Have good posture. If I'm slouched over like this and just talking to you guys like this or whatever, do I seem as confident as when shoulders are back, face forward, chin a little bit up? You wanna present yourself in a way that screams confident, I'm comfortable, I'm secure in myself. Because when you don't do these things, other people can pick up on that. And that literally affects everything. So these are not just important for quarantine and over FaceTime, but for life. Act like you know what you're talking about. Look like you know what you're talking about. And just kind of be comfortable. Next tip that I have for you guys is Think of like a confidence icon and try to mimic that person. So it could be me, even though you guys think I'm so confident, um, but you know, it takes a lot of practice. I feel like confidence is, is more of a skill rather than something that you naturally have because I definitely did naturally have this. Um, watch other people. I mean, like I used to think it's so bad. My guilty pleasure was watching so much reality TV. 
but watching these girls and everything like they're such confidence divas and everything if you just take an ounce of that confidence that they naturally have and pull, put that in yourself you're gonna be elevated so much like you don't have to necessarily throw drinks and act wild on camera and stuff and like fight over a dude that doesn't even want you baby but you know you can just take some of that confidence so having a confidence icon and almost pretending that you are that person and their confidence and just let that flow with your natural personality the next thing that we're not going to do on FaceTime, on Zoom meetings, on whatever have you, is we're not going to try to be somebody else though. We're gonna try to have their confidence in the positive qualities, but we're not gonna try to be, be another person that we're not. Be honest about the dorky things you like. Be honest about what you like and what you don't like because you want to find somebody that's right for you too. We're not, if it's with dating, we're not just trying to get somebody to like us because do we even like them? We try to get the other person to like us. We're like, oh, do they like us? This, this, that. Oh, what do they think of us? What do we think of them? You know what I mean? Don't fake what you like to try to get that person to like you. Be yourself and if it's a good match for you, then it's a good match for you, but you want them to like you for you and not somebody else. So let's review so far. We're going to look the part. We're going to do a little bit of self-care to show the person that we care about ourselves and we care about presenting nicely to the world. We're going to have good posture. We are going to be a little bit shameless, be a little bit fearless because you want to present like you have confidence and eventually you and I don't know if this is already obvious for you guys but I just want to reiterate it if it's not already you don't have to talk about what you don't want to talk about with strangers you don't know these people yet you have not really started meeting or dating or etc if you're not answering a question either move on to the next one or just kind of subtly give a like non-answer kind of answer and just ask them a question right back. If you don't feel ready or comfortable answering something yet or something doesn't seem you know right to you or whatever, we don't owe people our whole life stories. If they choose to like share everything from the get-go, which a lot of people don't, that's their choice. And I'm gonna need you guys to be comfortable and confident with where you guys are at right now. That's the bottom line. Alrighty, my blushing babies. I hope you guys enjoyed episode three of an Insta Thoughts Guide to Life. I had a lot, a lot of fun filming it for you guys because I know a lot of people ask me on how to be more confident and how to get FaceTime ready, how to get Zoom ready. So you do impress that other person. You do nail it. You do nail that interview because you have the confidence and the skills and little tips on how to present better and how to get what you want. If you enjoyed this, remember to like it up. Leave me a comment down below on your thoughts. Also in the comments or on Instagram, DM, whatever you want, leave me and submit your questions. I wanna do another advice video for you guys, like directly answering questions. So almost a Q&A style. So if you guys have any questions or concerns or quandaries for me, um, whether it be dating, etc then make sure that you guys leave that. Um, follow your girl on Instagram, Twitter, you now, you name it. Everything is at blushing underscore baby. And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I love you all so, so, so much. Thank you once again for 1K. And let's keep being amazing. Let's get through this quarantine and a lot of great things in store. Okay, arch your backs. Come on girls, we got this. Love you guys.